here, I got the fresh basil. I got a little cherry tomato. Look how small it is. This is cherry tomato. I wasn't going to pick it up to the farm, but what happened, Lisa, she know was over there, but somebody else, Elsa, and she delivered the pick up everything. I got the mozzarella, the little mozzarella, run mozzarella, and I got to use good oil, salt, black pepper, and I got nice big garlic, and my oye baby, and I got the pecorino cheese. Now, I got two dishes over here. One dish, it's the mix everything together. And on the other dish, when I cook the pasta, I put in everything over there, and we mix all the stuff, I got to start the mix. Now, we start for the little cherry tomato. And the cherry tomato is so sweet. And we start doing this. Basil, I was a wash, make it sure to wash, but I'm not chopping with a knife. Now, one time you chop with a knife, the basil lose a lot of juice. And what I do, I do like this, air, chop, big piece, like that. And I like to use a lot of basil, because the basil gives a so good taste for the pasta. I think the best thing is chop with a finger when you got to do something fresh. When I do the past, that's a different story. You got to use a knife. But this, I use like that. Okay, now we put the basil. Now it comes time for the mozzarella. The mozzarella make a shoe. I pick it up like this. The drain of the, the water. It's a nice fresh mozzarella. Chop of the garlic. Okay. All right. Ready? Set. Go the same fancy garlic. 
I'll finish the garlic and I'll pick it up the garlic and I'll put it together right over here. Now, after the garlic, I want to do my oil and baby. I was wash everything and I'll do like this. Okay, you got a big, small piece, but this it's really hard. Okay, and we chop a small piece. When you go home, not look at the, you know, I can look at the camera, I can chop, but I don't want somebody look at the camera and would, would work with a knife, okay, you can chop your finger, okay? All right, now the, the hot pepper, the oil yeah, baby is ready, and we mix everything over here together, okay, now it's time to put little black pepper. This it's easy. No look okay, it's a lot of stuff for the poor. The water already I put it for boil. One time this it's ready, I put the pasta. This dish it not take no more than 15 minutes. Got the time of the the water boil, you fix this everything. Everything will be done. Now I put a little salt. Got the pasta, it's already a salt on the pasta. Yeah, I use oil. Make sure to use a good, good oil. Okay, now this is ready. Now we give a nice mix like this. It look a nice it look. This is, you can use it for, to make a salad, like a tomato salad. It's the same thing. You make it the same way you make it, the fresh tomato, but I use the little cheddar tomato to look nice when I do the pasta. Now, I cook the, the pan. Somebody like linguine, or you like spaghetti, or you like fettuccine, or a cat, or cavatelli. What you like, you can cook. I cook this kind of the pasta, it's a penne. You can use many penne, you can use parciatelle or ricatoni. Any kind of the pasta, this one, it go good. Okay, now, this is a mix, all right? And now, we check the water, see start the boil. See start the boil, we cook the pasta. Okay, the water boil,
it's a good day for everybody today. Well, it's a day before Friday. Tomorrow, Friday, and we got a couple of days the holiday, Saturday, Sunday. Well, on Friday, everybody like to go home. And I like, I got to cook all the time. And special on Friday, my son, he come home, uh, my friend, and I cook all the time something. Everybody like different. Maybe this weekend I gotta make my niece, she ask me for pizza. But we gotta see. Maybe I'll make a pizza. My little baby, my little nephew, he like a pizza. He like a pizza with a ricotta cheese. He like the goat cheese too. We see. I gotta make something special maybe this weekend. And we see what happens. But today, this dish over here, I think everybody like. It's really good. Check the pasta, the pasta boiled good. All right. Now this year, I always want to go in Italy again, but I don't think so. Maybe, maybe you never know. Maybe in October. October, the end of October, maybe. Still, I like the go. But we'll see what happens. I like the cook all the time over here, something. Okay, let me test this one for you. Mm. It's so good that the fresh basil got a good taste. The basil give a good taste. I was going to the farm, I pick up. something you know I, I, I got still I got in the bag look look a nice eggplant I pick it up and look at this nice squash yellow squash uh, I pick it up some of the pepper green pepper and look a nice tomato I pick up with them nice beautiful taste still you got all the sand and all the dirt over here and look at this what I pick up over, over there. Look, the radish. Look how nice. It's a really big radish. And I got my little, oh yeah, baby. Look how small. This is a really hot when you eat this. Oh boy. What else I got over here? I pick, I pick it up. I pick it up a lot of stuff. And look at my, how many tomatoes I pick up. The little cherry tomato. I pick it up for so many. Look at this. Look. Look at that. Look. At this, I got like a little plum tomato. It's good. Mm. It's so sweet. When I turn the pasta already, I know so it's still it's hard or it's cooked. You know, turn with the, with the wood spoon, already you can feel so it's hard or no, or no hard. But, okay, I got to take this out now. Okay, I want to wash this. Okay, got a little... Like this too, but I mean, the 
the best you pick it up and you eat like a lettuce it good so fresh it good stay like maybe four four minutes and be ready look at this garlic this garlic I was planned outside so you plant this garlic at the end of October and you take each glob and you put on a ground deep like this not too deep deep like this so you you plant and you got a garlic in July you got a beautiful garlic you pull out when you see the stem again start to be dry, you pull out and you leave it dry. One time it's dry, you can keep it for one year or two years. It's so good to the garlic like this. In Italy, this is tomato, you see this little cherry tomato? We was pick it up when it was green. Now, you take a string and you, uh, you fix it like this with the string. And you hang up, we are hung up in a house, and we was eat this all the the time. We was make a pizza with the pizza with this. What you was do, you make the dough and you make a pizza. After you take this little tomato, little cherry tomato, and you squeeze and you leave on top of the pizza. It's so good that you put the fresh tomato like this and the, the oregano. It's so good. It fresh, you know, the fresh tomato like this. It's not the same like you make the the sauce. You buy the sauce. Fresh one, it's more better. Okay, let me check the pasta again. Somebody want to ask me a question? He can say something to me. So somebody online, and I can answer some question. Somebody ask me for some dish. I can make it a lot of kind of the dish. Everybody like. cook you know a lot of stuff it's like uh, I, I born in uh, South Italy but I was a work in North Italy I got a lot of dish you know you got a, people like North Italy what you cook and people like the South Italy what I cook a lot of people like Naples Rome almost South it, you know you cook different but I cook like this guy I come for small, small thing. Huh? People in know got nothing to do. They call on the phone all the time. It, it nobody ends. It nobody, you know, it leave a machine and not. You got so many calls every day, every single day. You are a family member. Look. I'm a 60 years old. I'm a 75. Okay? All right. Let me see. All right. Let me see. Okay. The pasta is ready. It's al dente.
now. One second. Just want to show what this looks like. Turn it a little bit. It look a nice it look at this. Ain't no nice. Okay. Now, what I do. Now what I do, I like to put fresh pecorino cheese. And we do like this. Okay, now we give a nice mix. Now we give a nice mix, got put the pecorino cheese. And now it's a time we put on this nice big dish like that. Okay. After this, I like to use again the cheese. But what I use the cheese in that, I do like this. It's a shred the cheese, looking nice. All right. It look beautiful? Yes? Okay, look at this. Now we take a nice pitch with this. Little cheddar tomato. Look a beautiful look. Huh? It's a really nice dish. tomato with the heat of the pasta you put in the mouth it melts in your mouth it's so good mm. I hope everybody make this dish after you got said to me Chef Pasquale it's a beautiful dish you did today okay and this is good in the summer time delicious. Thank you very much everybody. I hope somebody he can talk to me. I can answer some question. But look like it's nobody. Maybe everybody work. But it's okay. Next time maybe we do like late at night and somebody can talk to me and ask me some question. But if you want to leave some question for me, you can leave on, uh, on my on my. Uh, recipe thing you know I make I like this everybody happy and I hope this dish is good alright so just do uh, thank you for there's a few people that asked some questions so just finish this video and then we'll go to the live okay alright just say thank you and alright ready set go ok thank you very much everybody the look at this this dish is so good thank you e grazie tanto per gli italiani and merci beaucoup, it's the only language I speak, English, Italian, and French. I speak French, I don't know what happened. It come out to me. I was 
those who work in North Italy, it's uh, close to the friends. Okay? Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. I hope next this dish everybody likes. Thank you. You go with the cheese. 
Same thing, people eat the pasta fazul, you put a cheese on the top. Me, I say no. Now, he asked about the pasta with the what? Pasta, garlic, and oil, a pepperoncino, oh yeah, baby. Please, no use, no cheese on the top. When you do the, the pasta, I show you something. I, I show you. You got it on the computer too. You got my recipe. You put the water, you cook the pasta, and when you cook the pasta, already you got your oil, garlic, and add the pepper, your oil, your baby, fry it on the side. When you drain the pasta, make sure the pasta is not drain everything. You gotta leave some of the water. Okay, like this, you leave a little water and the pasta come nice when you eat. After the garlic gets a nice color, you dump inside the pots and you turn. And you pick it up like this. But please, me, and my family, I told everybody, do no use cheese when you do garlic and oil. Oye oh yeah, baby. Cheese is no good together. People you like, well, you like, you eat. Me, I prefer no. Thank you very much for this question. It's a really, really good question. You ask me, I told a lot of people that no use cheese. And I think, so you do it again. Do like I say, or you go on YouTube and you find my recipe, spaghetti or linguine, what I was make, garlic and oil, or with the fish, no cheese. Use oil, good oil. Thank you very much for this question. It's a really, really good question you ask me. And like this, next time you cook, no use cheese. Like inside salt, all this stuff you like, the, 
celery or carrots you, you make like a soup and you boil you boil one tiny boil this the head everything it's it after in Italy we have something you, you call it the saccapo and you, you, you chop like this and all the gravy come out but we use the machine and you chop everything you make it you know got a knot after you make the, uh, the fish and you start to cook the pulpo but make sure the pulpo it's the first one you gotta cook because the pulpo it take easy one hour to cook after you cook the pulpo in this gravy the pulpo after I don't know what kind of the fish you want to use you want to use clams scallops shrimp calamari after the pulp it cook, let's say for one hour. Next it come the calamari. Cause the calamari you need like 45 minutes. And you cook it together with the pulp. After you gotta see a thing by yourself. Now you got the scallops, you got the shrimp, clams, mussels. For me, another thing I want to say, the mussels, make sure the cook separate, or the clam cook separate. You know why? People say, I have a thought of way, all my soup of the best. I say, why? I don't know, it was something, it was a stink. Yeah, it's the stink one, the mussels and the clams. Now, a lot of time you find the clams uh, in Italy was called a uh, uh, clams like poots. Some clams stink. It's life, but you got a clams that stink. Uh, some clams it's close, but when you open up, you got all black stuff inside the sand. It's dead. In the mosses, it's the same way. Now, when you do the most, make sure to take the little black thing out before you cook. Like I said, you cook the clams, you cook the moss. When the soup of the fish is ready, you take the good clams and the good mosses, and you put it together. Couple of minutes, three minutes for this. Now, the shrimp and the scallops. The scallops, it's a big scallops. You gotta cook, so you wanna cook big one, you know, you got the big one, you got the little one. So you got the little one, uh, you call uh, the little one, what do you call it? Scallops, bay, something, something like this. But I like the big one. The big one, what do you do? You cook cut and a half, and you put this before the shrimp. And you put like maybe three, four minutes before the shrimp. You put the scallops inside the soup of the fish, after you put the shrimp and you leave a boil, the shrimp, six minutes, seven minutes, it's already done. Now, when the shrimp is done, the scallops, it's everything done, you take the mussels, but make sure the mussels, in, 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 it's a nice opening, you can see it's nice. In the clam, is the same thing. You put it all together and you give a nice mix. Now, the soup of the fish, a lot of people, when I was working at a restaurant in Torino, it was one with the bread, toast bread with the garlic, and you put a nice dish, and you put the bread run, and a zuppa the pesce in the dish, and you dip, and you eat. But, you know what you need? Nice glass wine. You like white? White, it's the good wine of the fish. But somebody like the bread. Now one time in the soup of the fish somebody like with the bread, we wasn't like with the bread. Somebody he wasn't like with the pasta. In the pasta the linguine or spaghetti, fettuccine, you put a nice dish in the soup of the fish on the top, and with a nice oh yeah baby. It's so delicious. Thank you very much to you too. And I hope, like I say, you understand that thing. I'm right what I say. 
but a tube of the passion make sure to use after nice uh, uh, parsley, nice fresh parsley on the top. Thank you very much. And Mr. Lazer, can you do a recipe for Zeppeli? What? Mm -hmm. Well, it's Zeppeli. But I got I got to make or you want to know? No, yeah, well, you can do a video on that. Okay, somebody he asked about Zeppeli. Zeppeli. In Italy, Zeppole. In my city, we was a girl. Facing i petola. I petola e Zeppole. It's the pizza dough you make. But the pizza dough, you know, gotta be hard. You gotta be little. Non liquid. Because when you pick it up, you pick it up, and you. I remember my mother, the Zeppole. He was using nice oil clean oil. If she was make everything. She was make the, the face of the birds. But she was good for this, make the zeppel. And you pick it up over the spoon or you pick it up over the hands. But it's like a, no hard. It's a little bit soft the, the, like when you make the pizza dough. It's not the same. It's more soft, more liquid. Not really liquid, but you gotta be like this. And you take it, maybe one day I make the recipe for the zeppole, and I show everybody to make the zeppole. It's easy, zeppole, it's really easy. The only thing you gotta watch, you know, make sure the kids it's no run, got with oil, it's really hot oil. I don't want something, you know, kids it's so, you wanna look at everything. Same thing when I cook over here, I got my little nephew coming the back of me, he, he, he told it to me like this, he want to look at everything. Kids, you know, you make a zeppelin, make sure to be, I don't want to say by yourself, but make sure the kids are not running, got the oil, it's really bad, somebody got burned with the oil. Thank you very much, but I think I make this recipe, uh, the zeppelin. So now he asked me why the past it turned brown, black, what it is. Okay. Now the past of make sure take only the leaves, not the stem, the leaves. Wash really, really good. After you wash good, that's what you gotta do. A lot of people what you do with the past of you wash. You chop, it's it, or put on a machine. It's okay, you can put on a machine. But I show you what you gotta do with the basil. The basil, one time you wash the leaves, everything, you take a nice towel, you put the leaves inside of the towel, and you do like this. Just like that. And the, the basil, it's inside. You go outside and you do like this. You see? When you do like this, if you open up, you shake a little bit and you do all over again. Same thing when I go to the shop for the store, my wife, she said to me, but you crazy, why you do like this? You buy the lettuce. What do you do the people? The store, what do you do with the lettuce? You pick it up, you dump water inside. And when you go the way, you buy water, you don't buy lettuce. That's why when I go to the store, I take the lettuce, I shake, I take all the water out. The, 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 the manager one day said to me, what do you think you do? I said, I buy the green. The water I want to buy, I buy water in a barrel. I don't buy water on the lettuce. So I pay $1.20 for lettuce. You give it to me 20 cents of lettuce and $1 of water. I don't want the water, I want the lettuce. The same thing 
you do with the basil. Same thing, you go to the store, you buy the basil, it's whole water. Have to charge water, no basil. Like this one, you do the basil. Do like I said, you put in the towel, you shake it outside really, really good. After you take inside, you want to use a knife? So you want to use a knife? You chop the base and you, you got to make it real thick. You got a machine? Fine. Put it inside the machine and put oil together. And you mix it. And the base looks like this. Maybe you know that what you got to put inside. I, I do like this. The basil, oil, salt. Oh yeah, baby, it's the, oh yeah, baby, it's the hot pepper. And you mix a garlic. Make a shoe like a garlic. Take a one dish. One time you do everything in the pasta. You take one dish like this and you dump it inside. You turn the good, the good, the good. Still, it's not too much oil over here, but turn the good. Taste. So it's good to the salt, everything. After you take a jar, you know, the glass jar, I use a glass jar with good top, and you put inside. One time you put inside, you need the more oil, put the oil, the cover, everything. After you cover, do like this. And you see, say you got enough oil. You got enough oil, that's it. But I keep in the refrigerator, okay? One time at the base, I keep in the refrigerator. So I show you, I got in the refrigerator, it's for 2005. And I show you the basil, it's so green. Not black, you know, turn the black. Do like I say, and you see the difference. After you let me know. Now it's a good time to do the pesto with the basil. It's really good, now the basil is really strong. Thank you very much for asking this question. say to somebody cannot do and I say oh I have to do this I not do the chili chili for me you know you gotta use a lot of hot pepper my wife she make these things like that but I'm more good uh, you know for Spanish dish I'm not too good you know I'm sorry but I not make the chili okay Thank you to ask this question, but if you ask me something else, I can answer. I don't want to say something I told you after you said, Chef Pasquale, you're wrong. You don't got to do this. You got to do this. It's something I don't want to say to you. That's what I, I use for the chili. No, I, I can't tell you what I, I can use for chili. You ask me some some. Now, you know, question like Italian food or this or that, I can answer this. Okay, um, thank you very much, but I'm sorry. Um, meat lasagna asks, uh, what is your favorite weekend dessert? Oh, uh, sorry, weeknight dessert, like at nighttime. What's your favorite dessert to make for your family? Thank you. <laughs> well, I think I'm making a big mess up.
somebody ask me what it say? Ask me question of Your what? Favorite dessert. My favorite dessert. Okay. Now, not a time nobody of me and my wife I say. Okay. We wanna make something nice tonight. The dessert before, you know, after you eat this and that. I pick it up ice and my wife she said, What do you do with the ice? I said, no water bar, look at the TV, no water bar, I'll take care of you. And what I do, I got a nice, this one, it's the small one. I got a big one too, one somebody's home. Now, I got to have the, the measure. It, you know, it, it, all the time, you know, every night, we need a little shot to this too, nice cognac. All right. Now, we start martini. Martini, you gotta use uh, one part of scotch dry, okay. Okay, we make martini only for me. My wife, she's in the home. I don't want she come home if she find me, me wrong. Or oh, two. Still, it's a two old look, look, it's a one toad. Hmm. Okay, now we put a ice. Oh no, I want the other glass of the nice one, not this one. Uh, yeah, that one, that one it's nice. Tiramisu. Tiramisu is so good. So you go on YouTube, you find the recipe for the tiramisu. So many people who write to me can never see somebody that make a tiramisu like I do. But you go look on Omega Nag, you know, you need the stuff to make. It's so easy to make. But this martini, it's really nice. Salute. Really good. Martin, the only thing I miss over here, Anogara, the green olives you need inside. But Anogara, but to show everybody, this is the martini. You go, you go to bar the martini, I don't know how much you charge, 10 or 15 dollars. This is the martini over here, maybe this is, it cost me two dollars, it's too much. <laughs> I buy the, look, I buy a big bottle of martini, the, the vermouth, I got the gin. This, in a lot of time, at night time, we get this, a nice shot of the cognac. It's good cognac, French. What do you call it cognac, Lutrec, Lutrec? Oh, but it's good. Salute, cin ci, a salute, only Italy, Italiane, salute. It's good. It's good that you pick up the, the basil and now it pick it up the nice big leaves. It's the, the, the you know more strong. And you do like I say, after you gotta say 
it's really really good now not to think for the for the pesto a lot of people they like inside the put it together the pignoli i not put a pignoli i do a lot of cook a lot of time i use same thing on this dish over here so you want you can put a little pasta inside in the past it come more green but pignoli a lot of time i cook something and not go with the pignoli so you want the pignoli you you put a separate and make sure to use the cheese a lot of people use cheese a chop inside the the pasta the cheese i not put inside the pasta the, the cheese a lot of people who come eat in my house, you got an allergy for the cheese. You want the cheese, you put a separate on top of the pesto. You don't got to put it inside of the jar. No use. For me, no use. No pinoli and no cheese inside of the pesto. Use a plain, like I said, hot pepper, garlic, uh, oil, and uh, pesto, and salt. That's it. Salute. Chin chin. Um, in French, what do you say? A la santé. Okay. Got somebody else, Jeremy, asking me some question? I eat my pasta. Hmm. I can eat the color to the pasta. Look like a Pasta salad. Mm. Really good. Meat lasagna would be the, uh, the person that asked what was your favorite dessert. They said, thank you for answering my question. So Luke, I am going to get the ingredients for the tiramisu and I will make the martini too. Now they're raiding the liquor cabinet and they said your channel is awesome. Thank you very much. But you can buy this. I like this one. It's a stock Vermont. Because when I was working in Torino, I think this is coming for Torino. Vermont, the stock. It's really good, the Vermont. And I like this kind. That's it? Nobody else? is so good. Really good. They make sure the pasta is got to be all done that. A lot of people, yeah, well, I can, you know, a lot of people like al dente, a lot of people like cook good. A lot of time, I, I, when I go to the restaurant with my wife, but I don't go too much. <laughs> Maybe one time is a year. When I go, yeah, as I eat some of the pasta, I said, The pasta is cooked already, or you cook fresh? He said, No, it's cooked. I said, Well, ask the chef if he can cook fresh for me. I don't like the pasta already cooked. Go back. He said, No, the chef he said, The pasta is cooked already. I said, Okay, good night. Goodbye. I don't eat over here. I want the pasta to be cooked fresh. You know, I was a cook in Italy. I don't blame the restaurant. When I was cooking in Italy, in the morning, like 11 o'clock, okay, he got over there, everybody worked at the work, he come out, he come like 12, 12 30. We was a cook like a 10 pound pasta. You cook, you put in the cold water, after you, each portion, you do, I was doing in my hand, and you put in a dish. When somebody say, I want a dish of spaghetti, you pick it up, you put on the, the drain of tea, you put in the water, pasta ready, you know how long it was to take the people who wait? You know it was no longer than five minutes. The pasta ready, put a sauce on the top, go by. But if you ask a fresh pasta, cook it fresh, a lot of places you no know, cook it for you. I don't know why. You know, somebody wanted the pasta fresh, cook. Okay. Somebody want to ask me something more. The other day I wasn't making for everybody. I wasn't making it as I go. 
oh, everybody was surprised that I wasn't making this kind of good. It's kind of good. It's really good. And then my wife, the other night, I was on like a stuff flaps. The stuff flaps, you know, it's so good. I was to take a big, nice, I think it was two pound of laps, two pound for my wife, two pound for me. A nice wine. I was by the Corvo, Corvo is Sicily, white wine, Corvo. They are stuffed with the shrimp, a scallops, two big laps. Oh, it's so good. You go to the restaurant, yeah, I don't want to say the restaurant is not do good, they do good. But my wife, she said, I prefer eat at home, not the restaurant. Yeah, I'm making it really. And you see on YouTube too, the, the laps, the stuffed laps, the what it look like. It's really nice. St. Martin is good, you know, you know, you, you relax at night time, you sit, you look, maybe you listen to the song, or look at TV, nice martini, nice tiramisu, or nice cognac with a nice ice cream, it's cognac, you need the cognac, I got it, look, I got some over there, look at that. I got so much stuff over there. I got a, the back of the goose. I got a whiskey. I got a lot of stuff. You know, I eat it. Well, you know, I don't drink too much. I don't drink. Daytime, so I got to drive the car. I not touch nothing. I never drink nothing. Nighttime, before we go sleep or you eat home at dinner, the make a shoot and don't go out so you drink a little wine or something. I never drink out. As long as I'm leave, like I say, I was living in Italy, I never was drunk. I was work all the time in the same place in the restaurant. I was working in Torino, Seri. I was working in Rivarola Canavese. It, River, uh, the, the best one, yeah, Torino it's beautiful. But I don't was like it too much, too much smoke. But when I was going to the Rivarola Canavese, it was so beautiful. Up the mount, close to the friends. The French people, he was to come over there to eat. And I have the, maybe a lot of people, you don't know, you know, I, this Italian people, you know, my American people too. I have the, the SAC team of the Torino. Uh, SAC team of Torino, he was to come sleep over there, the place I was work. And the, um, the Uendos, he was a come over there too. Yeah, I remember all the time, the, the, the people, maybe I was a sale already before. i never forget, he was a so good player, sack uh, team. Uh, Sivory, Charles, Nene, Cane. He eh, was a really nice place. Uh, Boniperti. Boniperti, he was a really good. Uh, I, I remember over there when he was a player. Hey, I was I was living I was going to Torino in 1957. I was I was I think 16, 17, 16, 17 years old. Yeah. Somebody asked is the uh, the house next door for sale? I want to move there. Well, I told you got a house for sale. You want? I told you you want to buy my house. <laughs> No, they want to move next door so they can come eat every day. Oh. <laughs> Not really. You ask for somebody to sell the house. This is the thing. This house, I was built. Me, by myself. I got a license for the state for building a house. Everybody said, but you do everything? Yes, I do everything. It's yesterday I did the wood floor. It's a really beautiful wood floor. Maybe, I don't know, so my son can show you the wood floor, what it look like, what I did upstairs. And I paint the, the room. You, you can go upstairs and you show, no? No, with the camera, you can take it, no? With this, what? You can go. You, you know rich. Yeah, I think you're rich. Yeah, with a Y. The 
showed the room what it looked like at the out of the garden. It's still, uh, you know, I'm almost 75 years old. Still at work for four, five offices. Everybody called me. I work for the hospital. I work for another office on Broadway, Pavilion Avenue, 279 Tor Avenue. I work. I just come back a little while ago, and my son he called me and said, "We gotta do something. We gotta do recipe, recipe, recipe." I rush every single day. Every single day I work, 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 work. I'm so busy. It, more you work, and more you feel good. You don't want to be uh, what do you call it? Uh, couch potato? No, I'm no couch potato. I was a pain in the room. So my son he can show you what I did in the room. I painted the ceiling white, the wall blue. In the floor, it's the Brazilian wood floor. It's cherry and a mirror. A run, it's like a clear wood floor. It looks so beautiful. Now, like I say, I was building this house. Next door, I'm building another house. And I was sold for my nephew. Over here, next me, he live my brother. And on the street, he live my sister. Now, I live at the end of the street. It's so beautiful over here. Nobody bother me. And I got a good time over here. Okay, now, hey, no more martini. It's finished. That's it? Yeah. Okay, now, I think everybody asked me questions. I was answering all the questions he asked me. Thank you very much. Ask one is a good time to do. Yeah. Now, so somebody asked me when it's a good time to do, okay, everybody can see me. You can let me know. You can write on the computer everything. And maybe my son will do like this again. But like I said, I'm so happy because somebody asked me a question. Make sure the basil, the dry, really good. Because the water make the basil black. Make sure the dry, the basil is really good. Okay? It do it right away, fix it right away, put on a glass John, close good, eh, but you gotta keep in the refrigerator. No, you keep outside. Okay, see the the best you you keep outside. It's the best you buy the store. What you do the store, you put some stock inside. Eh, I don't like. I want it my fresh base like according to my garden. You buy the store, you pay so much money. Eh, after what happened, you do um, in Italy. My city was called Apollonia. Apollonia, it's one you make like a mushroom on the top. It comes oh, mildew, mildew on the top. Ma, wait a minute, Jeremy. I can wait a little bit. I want to show you something. I want to go pick it up. I got a refrigerator. Wait. Okay. Wait. Something I say, it's not true. This and that. Look at this. You can see the year, but still I got. I can see too much. I got a lot of stuff in the refrigerator. This one, it's 2011. This one, uh, 2012. 
Now, look, so you look, look at green, it's the pestle. You see that green? Hey, look, look at this, look. It's really green. You see the good oil, look at that. You put in the refrigerator, the good oil, you see what it do? It no move. And this one, look, I want to show you. Okay. Now I turn this. You see the oil, it's all the way on the top. Now you turn. This it's a two years old, but I got a one. It's a two thousand five. I got it. Look at this. Look how green. Look, you can see the spoon. How green it's the pesto. All right. It's it's so good. Kind of the job I use. Look at that. Look at this. See? It's a really good pesto. Thank you very much. I hope you make it the same like I say for the pesto. I know it's a good question you ask me. But like I showed you, the pesto it's a really, really green. Not turn black. Take the water out. Drain good the vessel. Okay? Thank you very much. Uh, somebody asked me a question what, what time it's good for everybody to look this red to make something you can let me know and my son maybe we, we decide the time it will do the best thing for my son he got a job on the weekend it's okay it's it, it is free but Monday to Friday it's good for him to do like maybe like 6 or 7 o'clock but on Saturday or Sunday, it's good for him to do like maybe three, three tori. It's a really good time of day. Okay? Thank you very much. Uh, I'm so happy that somebody asked me a lot of questions. Hey, I can answer all these questions.